Uh, this is introduction to mathematics, sorry, this is engineering mathematics and modelling um, and it's the 2017-18 May exam question B1 on second order differential equations and this is a second order differential equation. So with differential equations we want to do two things, the first of which is to find the complementary function. In general we are looking for some function x which will work so that the left hand side of this equation equals the right hand side. So when we differentiate the function x once and then differentiate it again and add up all of those terms what we're left with ought to be 2e to the minus 3t. And it's always the same procedure. Uh, first of all we find the complementary function which is a function that makes the left hand side equals zero. Um, so uh, what we need to say is we'll try some um, possibility and see where we get to and we always use the same trial function which is x equals a e to the lambda t and then um, assuming we're working in x as a function of t. If we were working in y as a function of x then this would be y equals a e to the lambda x. So you know any um, pair of variables will work but this is the structure of our tr trial function. Um, that means dx by dt equals lambda a e to the lambda t and d2x by dt squared equals lambda squared a e to the lambda t. Sorry, a bit messy over there but that's lambda squared a e to the lambda t. Um, so we'll substitute all of this in um, to the differential equation and what we get is lambda squared a e to the lambda t plus 3 lambda a e to the lambda t plus 2 a e to the lambda t equals 0 and then we take out a common factor of a e to the lambda t and one of these terms must be 0 and it's not interesting if this term is 0 so this term here must be 0. Um, lambda squared plus 3 lambda plus 2 equals 0 and uh, we can factorize that that's lambda plus 2 lambda plus 1 equals 0 which means lambda equals minus 2 or lambda equals minus 1. So there are two possibilities for our trial function the first one has lambda equals minus 2 and the second one has lambda equals minus 1. So I'm going to say the complementary function is x equals a e to the minus 2t plus, I've used a, so now I'm going to use b, b e to the minus 1t or b e to the minus t. And that's the complementary function done. So we can move on. Um, I'll just write out the equation again so we've always got that on the page that we're working on. And um, now what we want is the particular integral which is some function x which makes the left hand side equal the right hand side. So before we were making the left hand side equal 0, now we want to make the left hand side equal the right hand side. Um, and what I'm going to say is let's try x equals, um, I've used a, I've used b, so we'll go on to c, e to the minus 3t, which means dx by dt equals minus 3c e to the minus 3t and d2x by dt squared equals 
9 c e to the minus 3 t. The left hand side of the equation becomes um, 9 c e to the minus 3 t minus 3 times this which is minus 9 c e to the minus 3 t plus 2 times this and that equals 2 e to the minus 3 t well those two terms are going to cancel and I'm left with 2 c equals 2 and therefore c equals 1 so my particular integral is um, x equals e to the minus 3t. And that is the answer to part b, uh, so part 2. I guess if I underline that to make clear, that's my answer. Um, then it says write down the general solution. Well, that's now straightforward. If we look, uh, general solution is the complementary function plus the particular integral. Um, x equals a e to the minus 2t plus b e to the minus t plus e to the minus 3t. That's my complementary function. That's my particular integral. The last part of the question, part four, says find the solution to this equation which satisfies the initial conditions. Uh, when t equals zero, then we need x equals three and dx by dt equals minus six. And remember, x equals a e to the minus two t plus b e to the minus t plus e to the minus 3t. Um, when t equals 0, e to the power of 0 is 1, so this is a plus b plus 1, and that has to equal 3. And uh, dx by dt equals minus 2a e to the minus 2t minus b e to the minus t minus 3 e to the minus 3t. And dx by dt evaluated at t equals 0 is minus 2a minus b minus 3 and that equals minus 6. Um, different ways to do this if I call this equation 1 and this equation 2 and we add them up then I can see I've got a plus b and a minus b and they're going to cancel each other out and I'll get uh, a plus minus 2a is minus a plus b minus b cancels each other out, plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2, and that equals plus 3 minus 6 is minus 3, which gives us a equals 1, and when I substitute that back into equation 1, we get that uh, a plus, sorry, 1 plus b plus 1 equals 3 and all of that tells me that b also equals 1. Um, so the solution is now with these boundary conditions the solution is x equals 1 e to the minus 2t plus 1 e to the minus t plus 1 e to the minus 3t and that's the final answer. Um, if you wanted, you 
could of course just uh, for for practice or fun or interest uh, differentiate this general solution once then twice and plug it back into the left hand side and check that the answer you get out actually equals what's on the right hand side um, and I hope that you'll find it does. So that's how you solve that problem about second order differential equations.